Hello everyone, I'm Jeff, this is Bonnie. Welcome back to our weekly food review that we thought we'd try while we're in lockdown. Mm -hmm. Tonight we are reviewing food from Grilled. Now we got this order delivered and to let you know when it arrived they just pressed the doorbell, left it on the step we took the food inside and found it was cold. Ice cold. So we've rewarmed into the microwave. Which which was probably cold again because we've been messing around with the uh, camera to try to get it to work. But anyway, we're going to give it the best that we can with what we've got and see how it is on taste. Because obviously it's got no heat, so it's not what you'd expect to be. Nice hot food. Yeah, it's not hot food. Hoping you all watched Burgatory last week and gave it a thumbs up and a comment and all so. Anyway, without further ado, let's start with the sweet potato fries. This is a serving for two, but it's for one. It's for one to share. So I guess that would be for as many as you want. But this is how it comes. We have eaten some of them because we were starving to death. Um, cold they're not bad they're nice and thick and meaty with and, soft and a little bit mm -hmm. soggy yeah, they're not because, crispy because they are cold um but from what i tasted they tasted pretty good like eating mashed potato mashed sweet potato in the middle there with a so, bit of seasoning it's it's pretty good i do like i do like sweet potato fries very good and I got chicken. I got, likes her chicken. She I do like chicken. I was going to get a chicken. salad. Oh, yeah, this is this is cold again. No, there's um, up in the microwave. There's, your... there's beetroot that we talked about last time. That red stuff on there, that's beetroot. But this is the chicken burger. And it's it's got uh, sweet chili sweet chili in there and um oh <laughs> there it is and it's got a sesame seed bun i don't know how it's gonna taste cold um it does have like mayo on there and i've already heated it once so i don't know how good it's gonna be and it's got lettuce on here too which is nice and wilted i always like a little bit of shrubbery on my food <laughs> But that's what I got. It's big. It's cold. Um, I'm hoping that it's good. But I'll take a bite. I'll, mm. I'll try to take a bite. This is an awful big mouthful. And we'll see how it is. I do like sweet chili, so we'll see. Don't look. Here, <laughs> I'm going to hide this. Come on. <laughs> Oh my god. She's struggling fitting the whole burger oh into my god. her mouth. <laughs> I need a napkin. <laughs> if you can understand any of that, Bonnie needs a napkin. Which we call serviettes, but yeah, I'll mm. organise. Do you want me to get you a napkin? What happened? <laughs> mm. Okay, I'll be back. Our napkins all got wet. We had to throw them away, the ones that came with it. What happened when I bit it is it all squirted out the other side. So that's why <laughs> I never got the chicken. See, it's still in there and everything went squirting out the other side. So I got bread, I got beetroot right. and I got some lettuce in a bun. And it was all right. It's very messy, very, very, very messy. So, I'm going to let Jeff explain what he has while I try to take another bite. But don't watch me because it's going everywhere. Well, Go that's ahead. a good burger. No, it's not. Okay, now, the one I've tried is called Mighty. Now, let's start while it's in the box, and then I'll show you. But this one has what we were saying last week. The egg, the tomato. Um, bit of everything. As you can see, that's why it's called Mighty oh. Beetroot, Egg, Lettuce, Tomato, bacon. Onion, Bit of Bacon, Bacon, 
bit of onion, yeah, as I said, it's raw. I prefer it cooked. Bit of cheese, as you can see, dribbling down the front, but that's what we call a mighty burger from grilled. And as you can see, when it was hot, it was pretty greasy. Greasy? Greasy? <laughs> greasy. Um, but, all right, let's take a bite. As I said, these are hot, so it's here's a, here's points an, down. Here's an azzy bite. Let's see, where do we even they're, start to get a bit of everything? They're used to having big bites. Oh, see how he handles it with his whole hand mm. around holding everything in. My hand isn't that big and it squeezed right out. Messy. See? That, that's a lot of sauce. Very messy. Oh, you can taste that sauce. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's picking on me. I got a bit on my mouth and a bit there. Oh, he dribbed on the pillow. That is dribbling. Nice. That's a messy burger. Yeah. Tastes nice though, you can taste the relish, you can taste the, you know, I don't know, it's like a mayo, spicy mayo sauce that I can taste in there, whether it's aioli or... I don't know. But it has a nice taste to it. Would have been nice hot. Would have been so much better So points off hot. grilled for that. I don't know if it was you or the delivery, but there's points off for that. There's the delivery people. Taste wise, all right, they've probably got it in taste wise. It's got everything on it that I like on a burger. Once again, sesame bun. I did notice when I took a bite of the chicken, it is grilled and it has a, a like, like a charcoal taste, like it was cooked on the grill. So mm. that's point. that's good. It's not breaded like the other one was, and I do prefer it grilled. Um, the beetroot was good. It it normally came with um, carrot. As well, and I I don't like carrot, so I took the carrot <laughs> off. But it has a Who nice doesn't like carrot. Has a nice charcoaly flavor, but there's um, a word for the day: charcoaly. Charcoaly <laughs> flavor. That's Bond's word. Write for the that day, down. Charcoaly. If, it, if it's not in the Webster, it should be <laughs> charcoaly. <laughs> so maybe you, you can look it up and see if charcoaly is in there. <laughs> so. Uh. Now, it's very messy. I took a bite when he was talking, and it is very it is messy. It is sticky, so make sure you have yum -na. like a lot of napkins, a lot of flavors in them. Though. If you're going mm. to eat it grilled, um, I did take a picture of um, what the menu looked like. And I can show you part of it. I got some remnant pictures of Layla still on my <laughs> on my pad. But here is the picture of part of the menu. I don't know if it's clear or if it's not clear. But that's the um, burgers and um, the chicken burger, sweet chili is the one that I got and you can see the prices there they're pretty they're pretty pricey and this was our bill we had four people but eating we had again four burgers. Mm -hmm. um so we did have four burgers chicken and beef and only one and no drinks and that was the price I don't know if you can see it but it does say $82.69. $82.69. Oh, my geriatric eyes. So she it is that. very, very, very expensive to eat out and have it delivered. And in Australia, you take your chances if your food is going to come to you Hot. while it's mm. still edible. That's why half the time, if you can go pick it up, it's normally better to do that. Right, but in lockdown, it makes as it we hard. explained, um, yeah. we can't really go out. So we've just got to deal with it as best we can. Hope it tastes good and then... I did give mm. myself a lockdown haircut here. <laughs> so we, we've got the lockdown look going on. Mine's the... They're unable to get a haircut locked in. Exactly. So 
it, it's a little hard around here, but people have been asking me about rumors that they've heard from Australia, um, that Australia is doing all kinds of crazy things. And, and yes, I do agree that Australia is a little bit different. Um, but they don't drag children to get vaccinated away from their parents. They're not setting up camps for unvaccinated people. No. Um, they are highly um, recommending that everybody get vaccinated because they are saying when you open up, when they open up everything and people have their freedom, if you're not vaccinated, then mm. you won't be able to get to go to restaurants and movie theaters and um, yeah, and trips, shows, and, and yeah. uh, sporting events mm. and anything that yeah. that you could go to. So they're saying that you won't be able to do that unless you're vaccinated. So, but they're not by any means saying. You know, we're going to fine you if you don't get vaccinated or, no. or whatever. They're just saying because of we don't want the health risk of you not being vaccinated out and about. And we can't control this thing. That's what it comes down to. Australia can no longer control this thing. It got out of control in New South Wales. And um, the, the premier there didn't lock it down. So it escaped, and it escaped here. And people are just quite sick of it. Unlike the yeah. United States, mm. we we haven't had the freedom of movement a lot. There were snap lock, lockdowns. Yeah. Um, people were afraid to go anywhere because they didn't know if they were going to be locked out of their own state and unable to get back home. So it was just easier to stay in your own state. But... Um, we haven't had the situation that you guys have had in the States, but I think now Australia, now that Australia has lost control of it and they're wanting to vaccinate their way out of it, which if you live in the States, you know that vaccinations are not going to stop the spread of it. Um, but that's what they're saying here. But they're not dragging children. Nobody under 12 can get vaccinated. It's no different than the, the states. Mm -hmm. um, if you have any questions, we do have a, Just a comment down below. We have a premier that talks every day. Yeah. They, he has a meeting, goes over the what's going on and the lockdown restrictions and stuff. He, he goes over that. And if you want, it's on YouTube. Um, just look it up. Mm -hmm. They have live videos every every day, he does. So you can follow it there. and Don't believe all the stuff that's going on around. Don't believe the media hype. Just no. and, and the people, check for yourselves. The people that are saying they're from Australia and they're reporting on what's going on in Australia and they make it sound so crazy. It, no, it's not. No. It's not. It's not any. Yes, we have lockdowns. Yes, we were able to control it. Yes, our lockdowns were pretty strict. However, we did mm. not have a vaccine for a long time. Mm -hmm. So while the United States was getting vaccinated, we didn't have a vaccine. So in order for us to stay safe, we had to do a lockdown um, to try to squash it because we didn't have the vaccines. We do are getting them now, but um, it's going to take a while to bring Australia up to the rest. Yeah. So anybody out there, and I've had a couple people ask me, um, no, what you're hearing about Australia is not true. Uh, don't believe some hype. Mm. Go in and listen to the live videos that are on YouTube. Um about Australia, Dan, Daniel Andrews, he's the premier mm. here and he gives live updates. So maybe search his name, Daniel Andrews, and you'll get the live 
yeah, feed get the story. Um, all throughout, you know. Um, I'm sure they, they have them from way back. So if you're if you're curious, um, I would do that. Anyway. Anything else? If you got anything you want to know, just yes. comment and let us know. Put us in the comments. <laughs> Put it in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a... Oh, sorry about how abrupt the last one was, but <laughs> our battery went dead. So <laughs> um, it just shut off. That's because Bonnie talks too much. I Well, I did. I did. Somebody's got to. <laughs> we'll get into more videos where I can, like, think of uh, words that the Aussies say weird and then make him pronounce it so that everybody back home can see. Well, just get them to put the in the comments. If there's words you want me to pronounce for you, put them in the comments. Yeah. Then on the next video... I'll answer them and I'll pronounce them. He's not Crocodile Dundee, but he does have that little accent going on. And that who so stuff that going on. Me, but... <laughs> yeah, well. That's, that anyway, means... it's food time. Yes, we're going to eat our cold food already. It is now. Cold. It was before. <laughs> we're not, we're not, we're probably going to heat this up again. But anyways, yep. thanks for listening. We'll hopefully get a better meal next week. And we'll be able to give a good review. But I'm sorry. This one, no. Grilled. Thumbs down for grilled. Sorry. Sorry, grilled. Um, it might have tasted good before menu log got a hold of it, but mm. not anymore. So if you're in Werribee and you're looking for a place to eat, if you can go in and get it. Go in and get it. Go don't and get, get it. it if you're going to have it delivered, don't use menu log. And... With that, we'll go and race for the microwave now. <laughs> so, people, thank have you a again good week. for watching. Have a good week, and Stay we'll see tuned. you again. Okay, bye, everyone. Bye.